In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to configure WordPress automatic updates for core theme and plugins using WP config file or creating a plugin. So make sure you stay tuned and learn more about it. Hey guys, so on this side right here, we have the WP config file. On this side right here, we have a little plugin that I created earlier um, that I'm gonna walk you through. First, we're gonna start with the WP config file and then we're gonna move on to a plugin next. So the first thing is right here, you have the automatic update, um, update disabled. If you put true right here, um, then it's right here will be disabled. If you remove it, then it's the same thing as being false or you can put false if you wanna go through that route. And this right here would di disable every single type of automatic update you can possibly think of starting from themes plugins um cores mine uh, basic major updates minor updates or any of that stuff so the second one is that let's say that you don't want to disable everything you just want to you just want to go through and you want to just if you want to just update some things and so these are some things you can update you want to just update if you want to go through and update every single thing the development minor and major updates of just this is just for core updates if you want to if this have a development server and you want to always keep it updated you want to do minors and major updates then you just put true now if you want to go through and you want to dis disable all you can disable just core updates you will go through and you'll put false if you want to go through and do just as I wrote it right here for you, you want to go through and do just the minor updates, which is WordPress already has it set up for this right here automatically on most different sites besides development sites. Development sites are major and, and minor, but you, you can do that. And this is pretty, pretty much a, a single most thing you really need to know for the majority of things you, you need to go through and do. Um, you can go through and block all updates or go through and change out what updates you want to do based on um, the automatic updates. Let's head over here to um, the plugin. So let's go switch this off over here. So for the plugin, a little bit more here, you have a little bit more control through filters and you can do a little bit more. This is the basic plugin. I'm going to put this down in the description as well so you guys can have this, so you can play around with it. So you just not, um, you know, you can have something to build off of and you can have all this. So the basic things for this right here, you're really going to want to go through and do. As you guys can see right here, if, if you want to disable um, automatic, automatic updates for everything, as we said before, um, you go through and just uncomment this line out and you disable all, all updates, no matter what they are, plugins, themes, or, and then we said before. So if you go through it, I kind of already commented everything in there so you can be able to read this pretty well. So even if you don't have PHP skills, you can just put this in and put in a plugin and activate it and it'll work for you. So the thing you wanna do right here, so say you wanna enable just um, just, just for development updates and you wanna do that there. You can go through auto date, you do return true. If you don't wanna do this, you, you can, if you say you just wanna turn this part off, you can do return false and just change this into false right here. If you wanna enable minor, updates you can go through and use this filter right here and just do return true if you want to disable minor updates you can go through and use this filter and just do underscore underscore um return underscore false if you want to enable all major updates then go through and do the same thing right here and just go through return underscore true or return underscore false if you want to disable for plugin updates Let's say that you don't want any plugins to update and you don't care about any of all this stuff right here. You just comment, you just comment all these items out. So you just go through and comment these items out for you. And then once you do that right there, um, so if you comment all these out right here, and then you so when you comment all these out here and you say you just want plugins to update, what you will go through and do is just add this at this filter right here, auto update plugin return. Right here, you can turn, you can automatically update it, or you can make it false. And by going through and just, you can make it false right there. And none of your plugins will update right there, and that you have in there. Um, and then let's say that you want to do it true, you just do the opposite of this right here, which would be true. And then all your plugins will update. Let's say that you um, want to also go through, and you want to you want to make sure none of your themes update. Let's say you're not using a custom theme. Um, or using a theme that might just update on a regular basis. They say you want to do that right there. So then you go through and you can just, if you want to automate update, you have that right there. If you don't want to go through that, you can go through and push this right here and make this and turn this into false. Oh, make sure you don't put capitalization in there. 
and then this part here none of your themes will update so this is a good little plugin that um, i created a little bit you know for you guys go and just um play around with i might update it later to give it a little user interface um so you so for you guys out there who are working on wordpress projects who are not that technical on the standpoint of from a php standpoint you still can go through and make these changes um but it's pretty simple to go through and do it in here to see how to do it um basically when you come in here just uncomment the lines that you don't want or coming out the lines you don't want with these lines right here and that's how i'm going to leave the plugin for you um so, so you guys can just go through and do what you need to do for those who are um who are going to be you know playing around in the in the php code a lot more then you you're pretty much more familiar with all this right here um, but it's pretty simple to do um let me know if you have any questions on this right here too as well um and if, if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel you know i would love to have you on the channel as well um I'm doing a whole new like sets of just giving you better better content and just better tutorials so you can be able to work on your projects better or build your different digital products or services better and also guys i'm gonna leave this link to the description right here to the wordpress um they talk about how to configure everything too as well they give you a, a little more in depth and some other stuff right there so you guys look at that too as well i'm gonna put that in the description as well and guys if you haven't already go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel um you know and if you're looking for any help um any work you're trying to do anything like that just you know give me a um just comment down below or give me a comment let me know if this stuff is worth for you guys or if you want me to go through and create a plugin for you and link that in the description let me know too as well and guys if you if you just be new to the channel and you don't know if you want to subscribe yet basically I'm give you a little breakdown of what i do um basically um mondays i do digital product software and development tips and tutorials just like this one right here or i'll walk you through how to build a certain digital product something like that basically just stuff that helps with tips or building digital products or to help with something on um, might go experience with wordpress or any other program like i know from a software development standpoint um and building those out and it doesn't have to just be software um i did a tutorial too as well on how to create an ebook which is really good and people really like that the next thing i do is on tuesdays um i do update on where i'm out for my business wise but i'm just giving you information basically if you are running a creative agency or want or starting to get into it or in a very smaller end or selling digital products i kind of go through and show you my experiences uh, it's really good for that that'll help kind of help you see it's wednesday if you are a service agency or you're trying to build your agency even more i give different tips and tutorials on how to get clients and to get more clients from your um, digital service agency if you're looking more into building digital products and i do tutorials on that too as well um well guys if you haven't already go and subscribe like this video comment down below thank you guys so much for watching share this with someone who might need this and guys thank you so much i'm xavier kelly i see you in the next one